what is it about creepy, abandoned buildings that just intrinsically draw people to them? Is it pure curiosity or a lust for adrenaline? We aren't quite sure ourselves, but we do know that the building on the hill we saw while sailing here needed to be explored. So we dinghied into town. We are up early this morning and we are heading into Lanzarote to meet some friends and go on a really exciting adventure around the island. Are you excited? Yeah, really excited. We've learned. Grabbed our friends from Fishgate. Hey! <laughs> And the tiniest hire car. Hey little fit. <laughs> and drove the volcanic road to reach the remote Atlanta de Sol. We're Becca and Zach, a couple who recently, after years of dreaming, bought ourselves a beautiful 40-foot Colvic Victor sailboat. Life is short and the world is wide and there are so many lessons to be learned. Laughs shared, people met, adventures had, and nautical miles to be sailed. And this is our way of sharing it all with you. Welcome to the Tailey. Bloody doing it. <laughs> so we've come to an abandoned hotel today. Some call it a ghost hotel. Um, and we're checking it out with some friends. It's pretty creepy already. There's some cool graffiti, but echo! It's pretty empty. <laughs> we had heard about this hotel from fellow sailors and we're itching to check it out for ourselves. Located on the southwest side of Lanzarote and surrounded by an expanse of dirt and nothingness, it's easy to see why this location was picked in the first place. Abandoned in the early 70s, this huge building has been left to crumble on the cliff top. Some say it was a wealthy German's dream to create a golf resort, but due to the barren landscape, it was impossible to grow grass there and therefore the project was abandoned. Others say it was built without planning permission and halted once the authorities threatened to fine. The last theory was that a couple planned this and after one of them ran away with the money, leaving no trace, the hotel couldn't be completed. I guess we will never know. Whatever the purpose of the build was, it was heartbreaking to see this derelict site, as it's now home to passing travellers, squatters and artists. We made sure to tread lightly so our presence fell unnoticed. Ignore the fact that's moving. <laughs> but these ones are even more creepy than the others. Yeah. They don't. Burned everything. So we were just wandering down there and we came across a little room and it had a container of fresh fruit and a jug of water, so there's someone down there. So let's go. Oh, 
We took that as our sign to leave, but what an incredible piece of architecture. It must have been heart-wrenching, abandoning that dream. Is that a warning? Oh, what animal is that? Bird? Oh, it is! Oh, that's creepy. After a quick check of our anchor, we haven't moved, Zach. <laughs> we hopped back in the smallest car ever and headed to our next stop, Ara Safe, the capital of Lanzarote. Come tend the garden with me. We have so many seeds to sow. When the harvest comes in, it will be time to share what we have grown. We were initially just wanting an ice cream, but after discovering not one, but four marine stores, there was no chance we were only going to grab a sweet treat that day. Becca, they've well, actually got everything here. Oh, that's epic. They have anodes here as well. They've got everything here, Becca. <laughs> this is like the best marine store we've been into for a long time. Are you happy? Yeah, really happy. Yeah, that's perfect, Zach. This is so much one. I can't imagine we're going to be catching stuff much bigger. Do you think? Or should we get a bigger one? I think this is about as big as we're going to find, really. The stock is so crazy. I've never been to a store where it actually sells our engine parts. And they've got all our engine bits. Do you want to get an oil filter? We've still got enough. We could do with an air filter. Zach? Zach? They've got everything here. Oh, I've got lost again. Again? A few hours later, with our wallets a bit lighter, we arrived at the final stop of the day, Suiva della Paloma. If he's still, we can go there. This was towards the north end of the island and directly translates to Pigeon Cave. We found this odd because at no point during the visit did we see birds of any kind, let alone pigeons. Created from the eruption from a nearby volcano, La Coruña, which happened 21,000 years ago, it was easy to see how the lava forced its way through the rock. What do you think, Becca? It's a really cool cave. It's <coughs> nice and cool. Yeah. It's so quiet as well. It smells like cool. Do you want to go climbing, Zach? Oh, I'd love to here. When we used to go round Wales, we used to find so many caves. So this is like a little blast from the past, finding this big old cave. It reminds me of White Lady Cave, Zach. No, what's the other one? No, do you remember church, the church cave? There was a cave which had like a church in the cave. Just look at cool. Look down there. Creepy. The lava tube. I think it's the end, isn't it? Lava. Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I don't want to see it. Okay. Come back here, Zach, and we'll do the thing where we turn our torches off for a sec. Yeah, right. We, every time we're in a cave, we do it once just to see how dark it is, and then we turn straight back on again. Shit, sounds good. <laughs> we do it every time. Yeah. Wow. You can't see the hand in front of your... The light is on. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't drop that far, but... No, it drops quite far. I don't know if we should walk past that. I've already done that. Oh, okay. Just hold on to the rocks on the side and put that head torch on your head so you can have both your hands. Apparently there is a book located at the midpoint of the cave in which you can write your name and the date you passed it. We looked for this, but we couldn't find it. But maybe if you visit, you will be more lucky than us. 
Oh. After that cave exploration, it was time to drop the car back, say goodbye to our friends, and hold on, we bumped into the fellow Colvick Victor owners, so it's not quite back to Taylor yet. We are with Anna and Klaus, they're here and here, and we're on their Colvick so Victor. Oh, it's the first Colvick Victor we've seen ever, really. And it's so cool, it's so different than ours, but we're getting lots of cool ideas. <laughs> That's a beautiful bow. I love yeah. the interior. Yeah, it's it. a lot more. It's a lot more. Um, it just feels like a home. Yeah, like ours yeah, feels a lot does. more like. Ours has know. got a lot of work need doing on the varnish and everything. Yes. And I've been like painting yeah. and everything yep. over the wow. last like week. Yep. Here, don't, don't can vacuum the whole boat. Really? So you just turn it on and it just sucks all the dust in. Yeah. That's brilliant. Yes, oh, you've obviously got hose. it with a hose. Oh, no, with the hose. Not just there. It's not strong enough. Otherwise, to do that. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. I was like, wow, just. So I've just woken up, but I have been having such an issue with a memory card. So it has all the footage from Cache to here. It's 250 gigabytes of memory and it's corrupted. And I bought this software and it won't work. And then I contacted their support line and they said that I have to find a Windows laptop, which I don't have. But luckily our friend Marta on Fish Cake has this Windows laptop and she lent it to me, which was just so kind. And now there's a guy, I guess, a person, just remote controlling this laptop. It's kind of funny because, yeah, it's just taken over. But I'm also just really hoping her laptop doesn't die because she has a charger, but it's a German plug. So it's the two prong and we don't have anything on the boat that can charge that. <laughs> That is mental. <laughs> There's so many numbers. Oh my. I'll give most stuff a go, but this looks far, far, far beyond my realm. Luckily, a bit of wizardry, bafflement, and dread later, the genius person inside the computer screen managed to recover the files. Phew. Go on, Zach, tell us what you were up okay, to. Okay, so yesterday we finally managed to find a replacement for our um, Zodiac tender, I don't know what you call this, like ore connection to the um, actual dinghy itself. So it broke off in there and we've been looking for a replacement one. We used some epoxy to try and fix it, some super glue, and it just wouldn't hold and just wouldn't last. It lasted for about uh, three weeks last time we fixed it, but we actually found one of these in a, a marine store around here the other day. So we're gonna finally fix this on put the seat back on we can actually row in it again which would be really nice because if we have any outboard issues we kind of need something like this especially if you're by yourself Thanks for watching. We are currently offshore and won't be able to respond to your comments for a little while. We will, however, say thank you again here for everything you do for us and our adventure. Until next time.
Washing up done for the night. Leaving all my worries, I prepare for something new. Whatever it was that held me back, I'm sure it wasn't true. Holding on to long and unresolved questions holds you down. What could have been a friendly smile has turned into a frown. I'm moving on.